Hi, it's Michael, and today I wanted to talk about counterfeit Sony NP-BX1 batteries. How do you know if you've got one? How do you know to avoid buying a counterfeit? Uh, there's a few things you need to look for. How did I get on this topic? Well, I purchased a Sony ZV-1 camera about two years ago, and I quickly learned that because the battery that they use, the NP-BX1 battery, is so small, it really does not last very long in the camera. And that was my biggest disappointment with the Sony ZV-1 was the poor uh, battery life. So I decided, well, I'm going to have to buy a bunch of backup batteries because I just can't be out in the field filming stuff and run out of batteries. So uh, my first instinct was to get some generic batteries because the Sony battery is about $40, which is, I think, ridiculously expensive, but that's what they are. So I looked for some third-party batteries, and one I settled on initially was this one. These batteries, I cannot tell you how bad these batteries are. Um, I got six of these batteries. I charged them all up, put them in my camera bag. Uh, I needed to replace my battery, so I slapped one of these in there. It had one bar of power left, according to the camera. I put in another one, one bar. I checked the third battery. It had zero bars. It was completely dead. So uh, finally, I realized these batteries discharge even when you're not using them, which is uh, a really clear indication that they suck. So um, I stopped using these batteries. Uh, I fully charged them. When I put a fully charged battery in my camera, it would only record for a very short time, a matter of maybe 10 minutes max. Uh, so I just gave up on these batteries and I decided you're just going to have to spend the money and get the original legitimate Sony NPBX1. So then I went on eBay and I, I was just wondering whether there were any available and a whole bunch of them showed up. Now, I'm not saying the ones I'm going to show you here are uh, counterfeit because I don't know for sure, but there are some telltale signs that they're either old and not really good quality uh, or they may in fact be counterfeit. But here's some tips to look for. First of all, all Sony batteries uh, are going to have a manufacture date on them. So first thing you want to look for is the label. Uh, if the label is just a piece of paper sort of glued on, that could easily be your first indication that it's a counterfeit battery. Because a lot of times these counterfeiters, they will use packaging and labeling that looks identical to the real deal. But upon very close inspection, you'll discover there are dis discrepancies or whatever. So that's one thing to look for. If it's just paper glued on, uh, I'd be very wary. But even more important, on the other side of the battery, opposite the terminals, there will be a hologram sticker. Now, as you tip this, you can see, first you see what looks to be an L, then you see the Sony letters, and then you tip it further and you see a bunch of numbers and letters, and that's probably the serial number for the battery. All right, so if it doesn't have a hologram on it, that's uh, another strike against it. And then on the back of the battery is another label, and you'll see a number down here. Um, this is actually the date of manufacture. Now this is a very important number because the battery you're purchasing on eBay or some other uh, place, you know, it may, it may be a total legitimate battery, but if this manufacture date is more than a couple of years old, you might wanna not buy it because lithium ion batteries, uh, they can go bad just because they discharge below a certain voltage. Once they discharge below a certain voltage, that battery is more than likely toast and can never be fully charged. Uh, so um, in this case, this battery, which came with my camera that I bought two years ago, has a manufacture date of 2020. Those are the first four digits. That's the year it was manufactured. So totally legit. And it was a brand new battery, uh, recently manufactured along with the camera. So I was, you know, perfectly happy with it. But the uh, couple of batteries that I saw on eBay in the photos uh, accompanying the listing, I could see on a couple of them that the date here was rather old. One of them in particular said 2017. Well, that's six years old as of today. And uh, a six-year-old battery, for all I know, it could be totally dead or 
uh, just damaged because it's been discharged quite a bit. So that those are three things you really want to look for. Look for a legitimate label, make sure you've got the hologram on the back, and make sure that the manufacture date isn't too uh, far out. I would say I'd stay away from any battery that was probably older than three years myself. Use your own judgment there. But those are three tips for you to make sure that you're getting a legit uh, battery instead of a counterfeit, or maybe just an outdated battery that isn't going to even charge because it's so old. So there you have it. I hope you find this helpful. Hey, please subscribe to the channel if you did, and make sure you ring the bell so you get instant notification of my new videos as they're uploaded to YouTube. Hey, thanks again for watching, and we'll catch you the next time. Take care.